One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. But Mythos is stronger. For five years that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Some medicine, my lord? Of salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the Southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would 
that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, Your Highness. What is it? Olivier has been made Emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, Your Highness. His Radiance requests that Your Highness maintain position here and... Gah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. What is it now? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. <laughs> 